Bonding rabbits or buns is the process of introducing two or more rabbits to each other and over the course of usually a few days or weeks, encouraging them to live together peacefully. You will need to bond your rabbits because rabbits are territorial by nature. The rabbit already in your home will be very territorial with the new rabbit you bring home as his or hers companion and will probably nip, chase, rip out patches of fur, and in extreme cases, even kill the newcomer. We want to help you avoid your buns injuring themselves, so we're going to go over bonding step by step. Please remember, though, every rabbit, like every person, has a different personality, so you need to tailor our suggestions to your pet. But before we get started, if you like our content, please support Pet Care Club by clicking subscribe and like. Now, without further ado, let's jump into step one. Assuming that you free roam your current bun, when you bring your new bun home, keep the newcomer in his or her cage initially, or have a baby or pet gate set up to separate the two buns completely. We recommend the gate rather than the cage so your new bun can also feel comfortable exploring and roaming. Set up two different water bowls and areas for hay for the two buns on either side of the gate or in and outside of the cage. Let them see and sniff each other. In most cases, they'll be curious about each other and may touch noses or place their paws on the cage or gate. It's just their way of saying, who's that? In addition to food and water, don't forget to add crucial sources of entertainment. That means tossing cups, chew sticks that can also be tossed, and toilet paper rolls to break up the boredom. Cardboard boxes that they can dart in and out of, as well as hop on top of, will be fun for your buns too. Step 2. Step 2 could also be part of Step 1, depending on how quickly you see your buns bonding. It's creating a neutral territory that your longtime bun doesn't usually play, rest, or eat in. It can be a hallway, part of a room, or even the bathroom. It's really important to choose a neutral place to introduce your buns so that your first bun doesn't react aggressively to defend his or her territory. Place the two buns in the neutral space without a gate, cage, or anything else in between them. You must be present and fully focused on your two rabbits so that you can pick one up if you see one or both get testy. Again, this means not being on your phone or otherwise distracted so you can observe your two buns and act as the referee and mediator. It definitely helps to bring new toys that neither rabbit has touched before to the neutral space so they can also practice sharing objects. You don't have to spend money either. Regardless of what pet stores sell, We've found that our buns enjoy cardboard toilet rolls and cardboard boxes more than anything. This applies to a water bowl and common bowl or tray for them to eat from as well. It should be new to both of them. It doesn't mean they will eat or drink together immediately, but in some lucky cases they will. At the very least, it doesn't hurt to make them available. You might be wondering, once you get them in the neutral space, how long should you keep them there? The answer is, it depends on what you see and how much time you have to dedicate to the process on that day. We recommend at least 30 minutes to an hour if everything is going well. Well means there's no violence and they're ignoring each other, or that even if there's a short chase, as soon as you break it up, they ignore each other. The best case scenario is that they start sniffing and touching each other immediately. On the other hand, if you see there's non-stop aggression from either side, separate them again with a pet gate and try the next day. If you have the time on any day throughout the bonding process, feel free to try this more than once a day. Be sure to spend time petting and otherwise playing separately with both rabbits, not only the new one. Just remember, they're getting used to each other. Your new bun has been brought to a new home. Your old bun is learning how to share their home and their parent, aka you, with their new companion. Most importantly, remember that bonding is usually a process, so don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen overnight. Step 3. Step 3 is basically to repeat Step 2 every day or more than once a day, depending on your availability, until the buns go from ignoring each other to sniffing each other, sharing a water bowl, food together, and playing with the same objects. One rabbit, probably the new one, grooming the other is a telltale sign that peace has been established between the two. Again, bonding can take anywhere from a day to a week to a month. Keep in mind that in the wild and in your home, Rabbits live according to a hierarchy. There's always a dominant bun who gets groomed by the more subservient one, and the dominant bun will also race to get food, treats, pets, and playtime first. That doesn't mean they don't love each other. Bonded rabbits will do almost everything together, but take note that it's often the bun that was there first 
who will come out on top. And there's nothing wrong with it as long as his or her companion is okay with that dynamic. Finally, the most important tip we want to leave you with is to be patient. It's easier said than done, but don't get stressed because you'll get your buns stressed. You already know that even people take time to warm up to each other. Yes, some get along right away, but others take longer to build a connection. Be in it to win it. Stay consistent and observant, and you'll probably have two bonded and happy buns. The cherry on top is that you won't have to feel as guilty leaving just one bun alone at home whenever you go out, now that there's a pair. We hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please subscribe and like. Stay tuned for our next video, and thanks for your support.